Here's Kyle Kraska. Padres in spring training, and we're just a few days away from actual spring training mm -hmm. games. Yeah, that'll be Saturday. They play against the Seattle Mariners. That, of course, their stadium mates there at the Peoria Sports Complex. Tonight, we're talking about some prospects. We've been hearing about this a lot, you know, over the past couple of years with the Padres. There's a young man, 20 years old, one of the best pitchers there is in the farm system, of any farm system, in fact. Uh, you know, for a lot of years, we've been hearing about pitching prospects, prospects in general for the Padres. And last year we saw one blossom big time in the former Fernando Tatis Jr. But who's next? Who's the next guy that's going to make the big step? Could it be a young man by the name of Mackenzie Gore? Let's talk to Jake Gariani about this right now. He is live outside of the Peoria Sports Complex. Jake. Kyle, I think you're right. I think it could be. Now, one of my favorite things by far when coming to spring training, it's not necessarily getting out there and getting to see the big names, but it's getting to see these guys that are a few years away, the Mackenzie Gores, the Fernando Tatises, and watching them develop. Yesterday, Mackenzie Gore threw a live bullpen session against guys like Tatis and Machado, and, and I quote here, Tatis said he's pretty nasty. He's been catching the eyes of a lot of people this camp, the young 20-year-old, including one of the best Padres pitchers in all of history. Getting a chance to see him in his first, you know, simulated game yesterday was fantastic. Um, they, the guys didn't take it easy on him. Manny was the first one to step in, and the rest of the lineup, by, right, would be in, in normal regular season stuff. I thought he handled himself well. I think there's cert certainly some deception because the balls uh, were getting up on people and, and able to throw the fastball by him. So I think it was a good start. Uh, it was good, you know, it's a live BP, but you know, it was definitely a little different, you know, with those guys up there because um, it was fun. Yeah, you know, I get excited, but yeah, I mean. Kind of even keel is the way I try to go about things. Credit to, to McKenzie. He's been that way since, you know, when we were scouting him before the draft. He's a very mature uh, young pitcher. He's got a lot of ability and a lot of talent. Um, but he understands. I think he's the first one to tell you he's got a lot, lot to learn, a lot in front of him from an improvement standpoint. You learn a lot by just watching and listening. I mean, in a, I mean, in the club, I'm around all these older guys, and they, everybody's been great. Um, they just kind of welcomed me, and you know, we're all excited, but we got a long way to go. Uh, us young guys. So the challenge to him is, is to go get better, and I think he's the he's the person that challenges himself the most. So he's uh, he's in camp, get some experience, kind of see where he stacks up, and really get you get ready for another another good year for him. Do you think he might have copied your leg kick there? <laughs> Where do you think he got that from? Uh, I was retired by the time he was born, probably. So <laughs> if, if he did see it, it probably was old footage. <laughs> there's, no, there's no doubt. I think a young Mackenzie Gore in North Carolina must have been watching some uh, Trevor Hoffman video. Kyle, you actually sent me those pictures and pointed out how similar those leg, cooks, leg kicks looked. I was trying to get your thoughts on it. I mean, that's pretty uncanny. Where did you notice that at first? Yeah, without a doubt, Jake. I, the first time I saw Mackenzie Gore throw, I was I, first guy I thought of was was Trevor Hoffman. And then when you look at the pictures, Mackenzie's leg kick is actually higher than <laughs> Trevor Hoffman's, which I think is crazy. He, he's also got this this high wind up with his arms that often reminds me of Clayton Kershaw. So there's some mix between Kershaw and Hoffman in there. If he can pitch half as good as those guys, uh, I think the Padres are going to be in good hands. All right. Jake Gariani live at uh, the Peoria Sports Complex in Peoria, Arizona. Right? I mean, you saw the side-by-side the -side photos, but I saw them. I'm like, it's unbelievable. It's not easy to do anyway, but in the middle of a pitch. The only thing I'm concerned about there. is Trevor had to do that for one inning, maybe two on right. occasions. Can you do that for six or seven? We'll yeah. find out. I hope so. I hope right. we do find out. <laughs>